Uh, here's the first question from uh, Buck Rice, who says, why can't we divide by zero? <laughs> why? I, I, I love that. That's a great question. I've carried that with me my whole life. Right. Because the answer is, well, it's undefined. And so my, my response is, well, well define, define it. it. Define <laughs> right. <laughs> Get off your duff and define it. Yeah, exactly. Define it. And you know who does? Uh, the mathematicians, actually. There are parts of math, um, one in particular called projective geometry, where uh, one of the objects in there is essentially what we want to get at by the idea of one divided by zero. And the thought is, if you have a number line and you walk infinitely far either to the left or to the right, there's this unified point that you're approaching called the point at infinity. Um, and you can do useful math by, by defining that. And it, that's kind of what you're getting at when you have this notion of one divided by zero. But if you're not doing that and you want to say like, why isn't it defined? I mean, it depends on what you're doing with division, right? If, if what you want to say with division is like, I have, you know, I have one cupcake and I'm dividing it among three people. How many does each of them get? You know, like a third of a cupcake. If I have one cupcake and I'm dividing among zero people, it's like, an, it's an incoherent question. Like the cupcake's got to go somewhere. The fact that that question is incoherent is maybe what we mean by saying that it's undefined. See, but that's, that's my point. In practical terms, I have one cupcake and I want to divide it between zero people. We got to go back to the beginning of the statement. I have one <laughs> cupcake. Okay? That's the answer. And that's the, the answer. The answer, Chuck eats the, the answer cupcake. is I eat the cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> now it's defined. Now it's defined. All right. 